legit question. If you entered my house and saw this on a wall, would it captivate your attention for more than 10 seconds? Would it make you feel catharsis? Catharsis, a word that we used to use. Would it make you feel anything? If you saw this on the wall behind me, would you say, oh my God, V, are you rich? How can you afford a painting like this? Would you? Do you know how much this costs? $46.5 billion. $46.5 billion. It went at an auction. I'm really curious how that auction went. It's like a person must have said 46.3. Another person went 46.4. And then 46.5. And the other guy, well, like, God damn it. I wish I could get it, but it's not worth 46.6. And, and look at just, oh my God, like the, the way the artist drew this. It's like they didn't even care. It's not even a straight line. It, it's it's so bad. All right. Like they didn't even put any passion in it. It's just like, okay, throw some colors there. Whap, whap, and that's it. And by the way, like I, I get it to a certain degree, right? Because like if you have the time machine. And you managed to go back in time before this piece of art was made. And you replicate it to a T, to the exact molecule. It will not be worth $46.5 million. In fact, people wouldn't give you even $20 for it. And, and the reason for this is like the author. Okay, like the author, like the name, the brand. It's kind of like uh, someone explained it to me and it's a very good explanation. Like imagine if Elon Musk went up to you and asked to borrow your lighter. They're like, sure, Elon, here's the lighter. And, and Elon takes the lighter, lights up a cigarette, and gives it back to you. Now, if you put that lighter on eBay, like if, if people know that that is the lighter, and you put it on eBay, you might even get $10,000 for it. Why? Because there are Elon fans. Like there are some people out there that, that might actually think it's a, a funny skit to, to have that particular lighter. Like there are people that have too much money and are willing to pay for it, right? So I understand this. But at the same time, it's like, look, we used to value things that were difficult to make. Like you look at the Greek statue and you look at the tools that those cultures used to work with and the materials that were available at that time and the masterpieces that they created. That is why they are priceless because it's astonishing. Like very few people would have been capable of doing what they did. So we put a lot of value on those people for... The, their superhuman level of creativity. And now that's out the window. Now it's like a brand which any talentless hack can reproduce. I mean, let's be honest. I don't know how to pay for shit, but I can do this. I can do this. It's not that difficult. All I need is the materials required and I can reproduce this. And I, I guess this is the sad part that... The way they managed to push this is by saying that art is subjective. Okay, it's subjective. We, we, we can't have an objective way of measuring. Okay, fine. Would you have this picture hanged up on your bedroom wall? You wouldn't, would you? How do I know? How do I know that you wouldn't? Because art is subjective. I shouldn't be able to know. There is no way that I should be able to know. Do you think that I'm in your brain? Aren't you concerned now? Aren't you afraid that I'm able to peer into your mind? And, and I have you like a puppet and I know exactly the decisions you're going to make? Why isn't the government hiring me at the CIA or at some prestigious university? Because I seem to have some knowledge that no other human being is capable. Like art teachers should look at me with awe and respect and admiration. And worship me hoping that I might... Allow them to bask into my wisdom. How do I know that you wouldn't put this on your bedroom wall? It's subjective. It is so subjective and yet I can tell things. And the reality is that while art is subjective, there is also objectivity in it. Like for example, how difficult it is to create. That, that is something that is objective. Like if something is difficult to create and no other person can do it except a handful of people. You might say, yeah, you know, maybe I don't like this painting, but I, I can see the talent in it. And, and there is levels of subjectivity, don't get me wrong. I mean, for example, most people do like a nature setting. You would probably put this on your bedroom wall. However, which one is better, this or this? Well, now it's subjective, right? Like some people might prefer A, some people might prefer B. 
But there are certain things that are objective, like no one would like pictures of trash, of garbage, of things that require zero talent to recreate, but we lie to ourselves, we lie to ourselves, and we say, yes, art is subjective, so anything goes, so we can have talentless hacks, people that are incapable of creating anything, get their art sold for $46.5 billion, while actual true artists, people that are legitimately creative, are being pushed all the way down, because they don't matter, they're not playing the game. And a lot of the game has to do with money laundering. Like, there are so many scams that are involved in making art. Like, for example, do you know how a lot of rich people can avoid paying taxes? It's very simple. Like, you pay an artist. Like, let's say <clears throat> this, this guy who, who managed to make a $46.5 million painting, right? Let's say you know him. And you pay him $10,000. And you say, hey... Do something for me. So, so he takes like a piece of paper, throws some ketchup on it, gives it to you. Now you go to another person that you know, another friend. You give another $10,000 and you're like, can you appraise this painting for me? Just appraise it. Because he's the art expert. And he appraises it for like $5 million. So now you have a $5 million worth of painting which you can donate to a charity. And since you donated $5 million to a charity, that's a tax exemption. Oh, oh, is, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that nice? Here's another example. Let's say you're a politician, like you're the mayor of a city, and you want to steal some of that good taxpayer money that you worked so hard in order to get, right? How do you do that? Well, if you happen to know a famous artist, he can take some metal, create something that costs $500 to make, then claim it costs $20,000, and you buy it using taxpayer money from him, and you justify the spending as, well, oh, we're beautying up the city. We commissioned a famous artist in order to make a masterpiece so he can put it on display in the city. And then you meet the artist in your free time and you share the money. You share $10,000 for you, $10,000 for him. And by the way, this art piece was actually put into my city. Again, like, Romania is not a very rich place like th there's a lot of things that can be done in the city such as fixing roads planting more trees but no instead like the mayor spends twenty thousand dollars on, on an eyesore that literally no one liked like not a single person appreciated it it was even in the mainstream media pointing out and it's like oh well you know people are uncultured it's like okay if people are uncultured why are you spending their taxpayer money on on, on cultured shit maybe you should buy some uncultured shit that people can appreciate if they're uncultured so yeah, this really gets my blood boiling. It, it, it really upsets me uh, because of the decadence of art. Like, I really enjoy watching classical art and I enjoy listening to classical music. But but when I see this bullshit and, and when I realize that, no, you have to like it. Like, you have to say it's good. Because if you don't, people call you uncultured. Then the answer is, yes, I am highly uncultured. I want to see some uncultured art from now on. I, I want to see some bad art like the Greeks like to make. Or, or that used to be done in the past. Then show me some of that. So sick and tired of this bullshit. Let me know what you guys think though. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.